You know, the summer heat is on and so are the summer bugs. With just a little bit of knowledge, you can get after those pesky bugs and keep your garden totally organic. So today I would like to share with you how to control cabbage worms or cabbage loopers in your garden. So cabbage loopers are part of our natural landscape here in the country and they live on the white top weeds that we have around the farm. So there's really no way of ever eliminating the looper from my gardens. So the next best thing is to disrupt the worm's life cycle so they don't reproduce in the garden. So loopers have four stages. There's egg, worm, cocoon, and moth. So I like to disturb the cycle at the worm stage. And once we start to see the cabbage loopers flying around the farm and the gardens, uh, we go ahead and start our program. So we will run our control program until after the third frost in the fall. So in the homemade pest control guide, there are 11 methods to control the cabbage looper or cabbage worm population. So here are my four favorite methods. Number one is caterpillar deterrent citrus spray. So caterpillars don't like the taste of citrus. It's, uh, it's bitter chemicals. They run the caterpillars off. So to make a citrus spray, go ahead and grind up the rinds and seeds of any citrus fruit, so oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits. Go ahead and soak that overnight in two cups of water. Strain out the pulp and add two teaspoons of liquid soap to the mix. And you're going to go ahead and spray that on the plant. Anytime it rains, you probably want to reapply. Uh, number two is Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. So we use Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew once a week from the time we see the white loopers moths in the spring until our third hard frost. Number three is Bacillus thuringiensis something, otherwise known as BT. Uh, we'll put the spelling on the screen. I've never figured out how to say that one. So this is a bacterial pathogen that is widely used for biological control over the larvae. And it is widely used by organic growers. And I've used it with really great success. And it's safe for the plants, the animals, and the humans. Okay, number four is diatomaceous earth. So diatomaceous earth is ground up fossil seashells. And the diatomaceous earth, it will puncture soft body insects and they will dehydrate and die. So this is something you want to, a powder you want to put on your plants. And then as the worms crawl across it, they get covered in the powder and then it goes to work on them. So if you would like to learn the other seven ways to control the cabbage loopers, you can get our homemade and organic pest control ebook. And you get this book for free when you sponsor this show. So we give it away along with the Gardener's Guide to Perfect Soil and the Preserving Fruits and Vegetables Guide to anyone who sponsors the show at the $8.25 level. So the money we raise from the sponsorship goes to keep the show free to everyone around the world. And I feel that everyone should have access to learning how to grow food for themselves and their families. And by sponsoring the show, you are a part of keeping this education free and feeding people around the world. So if you would like to learn more about high performance gardening and the gardening concepts that lead to garden success, go ahead and go to our website at thelivingfarm.org. And there you'll find more articles, videos, e-courses that can help you on your way to success. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. It's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.